Hello, Scorpio. It's Christy. I am back from Abundant Healing and Wellness, and I'm here with you today with uh, a different kind of reading. I am, uh, I've pulled all of the sides. I'm super tired of hearing about all the drama going on. So I specifically went into meditation and asked our guides and our ancestors, what inspiration could you use, Scorpio, for your highest good on your life purpose? And we wanted to give you some inspiration as well. So that's what we're going to hear from the angels today. This is the Dorian Virtue Angel uh, Wisdom Oracle deck. So Scorpio, let's see what the angels have for you. Welcome. I'm so happy you're here with me today. All right. Ancestors, Yahweh, Gabriel, Michael, Raphael, what do you have for Scorpio today, please? What do you have for Scorpio? Thank you so much. What do you have for Scorpio? I have a lot to say. <laughs> Hang on one sec. I keep telling everybody, I think I spend just as much time bending down to get the cards uh, as I do, you know, shuffling them because spirit just throws them across the room for me. Oh my God. Scorpio, we have two of them here for you and I think you're going to really like this. <gasps> Vanessa. It's the first one out of the gate is to make your decision. Ask yourself which way brings you closer to your divine purpose and which way takes you away from it <sighs> however guess what guess what chantal is here and chantal says new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through a rekindled passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving love. You are the only one so far that's gotten a romance card from the angels. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Oh, we got another one over here. What's this? I didn't even notice that one fly out. Oh, okay, it says we have Rosetta. You have a gift for working with young people and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. Uh, I think that was really quite clear what your gift is there, huh? Let's go ahead and see what else the angels have for you. That's quite a bit right there out of the gate. Romance, children, teaching, parenting maybe. Maybe somebody wanting to have a baby. Wow. A lot of young people want to have babies. And then they have babies and they're like, oh my gosh. <gasps> Scorpio. All right, this is excellent. It says, have faith and hope because there is something new. Excuse me. Have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Crystal. Look at that. See the little wings there? She's so beautiful. Check this one out. Well, Scorpio. Obviously, you've been doing something right because you're also the only card, only uh, sign that has gotten this card as well, and it's the Omega card. Victory, your desires come into fruition. Keep up the good work. Omega. What? What? All right. Is there any more information that you have for Scorpio in regards to their spiritual path? What kind of inspiration would you like to give for Scorpio's spiritual path and their highest good, please? Only love and light is allowed here. What else would you like for Scorpio? I keep hearing them just singing, saying, you got it going on. You got it going on. You have a message. You have a message from Sonia here. It says, I bring you a message from a deceased loved one. I'm happy and I'm at peace. And I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. I dropped the card there as I was trying to turn it around. There we go. Sonia. So your ancestors are with you. Who knows? Maybe they have a hand in this. Kind of, you know, if you think about this whole spiritual thing and the twin flame path and the soulmate path, it's really kind of like an arranged marriage by spirit. And you, because you're raising your vibration to call them in. Is that what's happening? Are you calling in something special? What else for Scorpio? 
What else for Scorpio, please? Okay, we're going to go ahead and move on to the Stephen Farmer Spirit Animal Guides. And this uh, Ancestors, Yahweh, Gabriel, Michael, Raphael, I ask that you please give us guidance for Scorpio for their highest good on their spiritual path, please. What would you like for Scorpio to know for their highest good? Thank you. There is something out of balance. Uh, you need to, in your life, you need to do whatever you can to correct it. So things are coming in good. You have all this abundance here. You're, you've got a great gift with kiddos. You've got all this stuff coming in, uh, except for you have this one right here that says that you need to get grounded again. So I'm going to say a meditation probably is going to help you with that. We'll pull a life lesson card at the end of that will help you with that and give you an idea of what can help get you grounded again. That's what this is supposed to be about. Divination is supposed to help you. It's not supposed to be about midday soap operas. I, I, it just drives me nuts. It's such a, I don't know. I, it just drives me nuts. Anyway, what else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio? I'm hearing that you're going to be very amazing working with kids. If that's something that you're interested in. However, I think we see all I need to see right now. Yeah. Okay, so you're out of balance. So you must be having conflict with someone here. And it says the honeybee is coming. It says let compassion and forgiveness be the top priority in this situation. So if you're having some sort of conflict, uh, be open-hearted. Look at somebody else's perspective. Also, what they want you to know, because they did talk about your spiritual gift here. You had the rattlesnake come come in, rattlesnake come in, and it says. Uh, so here's your other one on your gift. It says the experiences that you are presently going through are initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. A healer. You could be teaching children how to do energy work or something if that's something you're interested in, Scorpio. I like that a lot. This feels very nice. All right. Ancestors, shamans, Yahweh, do you have anything else for Scorpio for their highest good, please, for their life purpose and life path? Accept a situation as it is rather than trying to change it. So if you have some conflict going on, just ebb and flow, let it go so you can grow. Or ebb and flow, let it go so they can grow. We both grow that way. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? One more for Scorpio. The fairies are screaming. The fairies are over here saying, it's our turn, it's our turn. Welcome to my world. This is, this is why I didn't go on camera for a long time. Uh, Meerkat, get support from trusted group of like-minded friends. That's always extremely helpful. And it's just gonna help enhance because you have a lot of strong energies coming in here. I mean, you've got some spiritual coming in here, you have your life path, you have romance, you have uh, you know a little bit of stagnation, but nothing major. You have the message from your ancestor and you also have the Omega card. So you've got a lot of juice coming out here. All right, fairies, we would like some inspiration and some information for Scorpio for their highest good, please, on their life, path, purpose, and mission. Anything else for Scorpio? Anything else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio for their highest good? What kind of whimsy do they need, fairies? All right, let's see what they have for you first on these two that came out. So we have, we have painting poppies. Ah, this is good. You've been working on yourself. You've been internal focusing. She see how happy she is just being in her own element right there, doing her internal stuff for herself. And then we have the door mouse. It just feels like a lot of clutter. 
Are you uh, struggling with your head with this conflict that's going on here? What else for Scorpio? What else for Scorpio in regards to their life path, please? What else for Scorpio? What other kind of inspiration would you like to give them for their highest good, please? Bubble. Bubble rides. Bubble rider. She's daydreaming on day, um, on, uh, or she's writing bubbles, daydream bubbles. Are you daydreaming and wondering and reminiscing? And it's okay if you are. This energy that's going on is going to pull up a lot of things from our past. And you get to selectively choose what good memories you want to take with you. Because you know when you go into 5D, you can't take everybody with you. Unfortunately, I thought you could do that when I started my path. I wanted to help everyone. And then I found out you actually really can't. They have to do their work. So don't let this conflict bother you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get one uh, lesson from the week for the week from Raphael Kushner's 50 Ways to Stay in the Present Moment. And uh, again, as I've been telling you guys, the reason why I do that is because I feel that the purpose of divination is so that we can learn and grow. I don't like staying in the negative. We just can use this as a tool to guide us of what energies are out there, okay? And I don't want you staying stuck on it. That's why I make sure that if the energy is too heavy in one area, I'll read from a different subject. Because it, you don't need to hear 50 tarot readers telling you the same thing. <laughs> it's overwhelming and it keeps you stuck in negative. So we've got our lessons for the week and those help us stay mindful. And then we grow and evolve and we don't have to have these energies be so heavy on us. Again, though, right now, there are extra energies that are wonky. It's the 555 gateway today. So here is your card. And it says, what do you see with your eyes closed? What do you see with your eyes closed? All right, let me turn this way right out of the gate so I don't uh, say I can't see it. <laughs> okay. It says, sight, for most people, is the dominant sense. We rely on it for information about our environment, for uh, spatial awareness, and for navigation. Yes, our reliance on our vision often precludes us from experiencing more of what's happening in any given moment. This is about staying in the moment, and then you'll appreciate uh, things more. When you appreciate the little things, it, it just, when you live a life of gratitude, it makes your life so much better. And once you start appreciating those little things, then you're going to start getting big things happening for you. Uh, it says, uh, see for yourself, spend an hour at home wearing a blindfold that totally blocks your vision. Allow yourself to become comfortable with any disorientation that might occur then go about your usual business uh, phone calls gross uh, grooming chores whatever and notice whether you become more aware of your sounds smells and the feels of things and even perhaps intangible objects so that will help you stay in the present moment uh, that sounds really weird, I know. Like blindfolding yourself, make sure you're doing that at home. Make sure you don't have like something weird like, I don't know, vir vitiligo where you're, or not vitiligo, uh, vertigo, where, where you're going to be all wobbly. Be mindful, okay? Uh, this is just guidance of ideas of how you can keep yourself grounded and keep growing. So now what we're going to pull for you is one meditation water crystal oracle card for the week. Because those are really good. And you can take a picture of the, sh the image and you can use it to focus on for the week. So, Spirit, do we have one meditation oracle card for Scorpio for the week, please? One meditation oracle card for Scorpio, please. One meditation oracle card for Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. See, I think they like messing with me. That's why they go flying. I don't know about your guides, but my guides and I have a very strange relationship. They have a sense of humor, and they oftentimes mess with me, especially the fairy cards. 
which uh, I actually didn't, they didn't even, oh, I didn't listen. I heard them. They just said I didn't listen. I still have to pull some cards from there. All right, so here is your water crystal oracle. And it's the right side of the brain, the right side of the brain. So focus on that. And your word at the top is healing. So we're doing some mental healing here. Mental healing. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. So you're, you're being in an initiation. You've got love coming in. You've got Omega. You have that teaching. Oh, you have a lot coming in, Scorpio. A lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. All right, fairies. What would you like for... Oh, I did the fairies already. My goodness, I don't even know what... See, they're messing with me. All right, let's go ahead and pull one more fairy card. That was very weird. It's like I almost got like, I don't know, uh, like lost gap of time there or something. I didn't even realize that I had actually pulled the fairy cards already. That was very weird. Deja vu, I'm back again. So the final card for you is going to be adoration. <gasps> the love is coming in. Of course, that's why they're screaming at me. They wanted you to know that you are going to receive adoration. Look at that. Look at the little baby fairy. It's like a prize. That's you. You've got this Omega card coming in here. Oh, man. And then we got romance. And don't forget your meditation. I mean, your initiation, right? So you have that coming in there, too. So let me put this back here so you can see your water crystal oracle here. And there you go. So I'm so happy that you were here, Scorpio. I hope that helps you on your uh, life purpose path. Uh, it's a little bit more uh, tangible to grab, grasp onto instead of all this wonkiness that's going on. So I'm sending you love and light as it is above is below. Much love to you. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.